Hi everyone, Brian here from Black Ops Toys coming at you today with an unboxing of something really, really cool. This is produced by Damn Toys, Solomon Clan. Uh, this is AK Waters, I believe that's the character name. If you know what this guy is to, or if he's to like a comic book or to a video game, please leave that in the comments below because I have no idea. I just know that it's freaking awesome. So let's get into it. So this is an amazing figure. I actually got one of these a couple months ago and I freaking love it. Here's why. Let's go ahead and show you. This one 12 scale stuff is neat because you're able to customize it and kind of take things apart and put them together just like the uh, one six scale stuff. Um, this obviously takes up less room and if you're married or have a girlfriend, this can you can hide this a lot easier. All right. <laughs> Shit. So, the plastic is not supposed to be on there. I'm going to actually take it off and show you the head sculpt. So it's a fantastic head sculpt. It's good looking. He looks kind of like... Uh... Who's that soccer player? David Beckham? He looks kind of like David Beckham. If you know what he looks like or you know something I don't, please let me know. Uh, take the figure out. He does come with two heads. So there's three different versions of this actual figure. There's an A, a B, and a C. This is C, and this comes with all the goodies. Uh, I believe the other ones have this type of head, and it's missing this type of head, and vice versa. And then this one also comes with a sword. So this one comes with everything that the other two come with. So right here is a robotic head sculpt. Looks like a devil mask. Uh, looks pretty awesome. I really like it actually. If you notice here, he's got robotic hands. So that's super cool. You can change it in and out. This is, looks like a patch. It says Ranger 610. Comes with some small patches inside. Yeah. Just open this real quick. Let's see what it comes with. There we go. Alright, looks like some type of kanji. I don't know what it means. If you do, let me know. This looks like a like a one-to-one -one scale patch or something you'd put on something. Alright, let's keep going. So we have a really nice battle belt. This is awesome. Uh, it comes basically pre-done. So everything is molded, but it's cool looking. And it's easy to put this on another figure if you wanted to kit bash. And it's got some cool stuff on it. So I really like it. Uh, not a lot of work involved, which is great. This is the vest. This is one of my favorite parts. Uh, very cool. This is all molded. Uh, the one thing that I don't like is that the pistol does not come out. So it is a molded piece. Uh, but as far as looks go, this looks super, super cool. And you can dress up your finger. Here we have a Chris Vector submachine gun. And it does come with a magazine. Very, very crisp detail. So it does have a folding stock. Magazine does go in. Great little piece of kit. Very cool. Moving right along, looks like we have a sword with a back strap. So this can go either around his waist or over his head, around his shoulder. Ooh, super cool. Ooh, very sharp. This is made out of plastic, so you actually won't hurt yourself, hopefully. Then you have a whole bunch of hands. So these are standard gloved hands. Uh, very, very cool that they actually give you another set of pegs. Uh, pegs do break sometimes, so it's always nice to have a second set. Looks like we have all sorts of hands. We have trigger hands, we have relaxed hands, we have fists, we have lots of good stuff. Let's take a look at this guy. So, camouflage pants, looks to be some sort of cryptech. Uh, the boots, boots are awesome. Much better detail than the uh, ones that we've seen before, so they're getting a lot better. Shirt, muscle shirt, and then an overcoat. This is also looks like a cryptech camo. Um, I'm going to show you his arms because I think they're really neat. 
You'll see what I mean in just a second. So if you put the gloved hands on him right now, he looks like a standard human being with a nice haircut. But if you go underneath, he's got robotic forearms. So now you can actually see that he's got some robotic parts that are really cool. You can use these robotic hands if you were to buy them separately. You could use them on any figure, just have the sleeves covered and it would look like a robot underneath. So very, very cool. Anyway, super stoked with this guy. Uh, really happy uh, that we got him. Been waiting a long time for him. Um, parts are for sale on the website. And this is one to definitely pick up for your collection or pick up the parts for kit bashing. If you like this video, please make sure you smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified of new and awesome content like this guy.